Hello, welcome to another Impartial Theorist. We're back uh, after taking a week off, uh, mostly due to some technical issues. But yeah, uh, stop working. <laughs> yeah hopefully uh, we'll be back up and running. Technical issues put aside. Um, so yeah, we've got a little bit of catching up from last week. Yeah. And just <laughs> keeping up with reality. Yeah, and a lot of shit's happened. I don't want to see to remember everything that happened, but... One thing that we wanted to talk about first was Laura Ingram getting, like, eaten by, by these... She got people. roasted! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, hate when, I hate when fucking blogs do that shit. Always exaggerate this shit. But she but she did get eaten by David Hogg. The, then David Hogg is one of the Parkland kids. Yeah, and he's been in the me- making multiple media appearances because there were conspiracy se- theories surrounding him yeah. that he was a crisis actor. Uh, yeah. that and that that that's gone now. Yeah, which, which that was pretty quick. But like the new thing is 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 laughing at him you not know, getting into college, into four colleges that he applied to, and Laura Ingram posted a tweet like mocking him and his four point one fucking GPA. As if, like, people have 2.9s and 1... Like, college... I know college kids right now that have 1.5s. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, his 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 GPA is fucking amazing. And she's making fun of him for that. And she basically got the end of the stick. Like, he went full-on, like, Hulk on her and went on CNN, went on a bunch of, like, news channels saying that companies should leave her because she's attacking little, little kids. And a bunch of them have left. So far, I think Hulu... TripAdvisor, um, Rachel Ray's <coughs> dog food brand, which I didn't even know she had one. Um, that was a lot. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, those are, the, those are the three main ones. Those are the three that provide the most money in advertising, but there was a list of, like, 15, which for, for like, show a segment, like, losing 15 ads, 15 um, people who... who, who pay for advertisers like that's a chunk of your revenue that's a chunk of your profit uh, she had to like have some second thoughts before she hit the tweet but no nah, because like... <laughs> other people have been going at them without getting into trouble so she figured she might too but the thing is people have been watching her since that shut up and dribble shit that she said to lebron so yeah and you don't fuck with these kids these kids are wild like <laughs> let's let's pull up the yeah, video the clip Going after Parkland Massacre survivor and high school student David Hogg. Ingram's original tweet said, David Hogg rejected by four colleges to which he applied and whines about it. Dinged by UCLA with a 4.0 GPA, totally predictable (coughs) given acceptance rates. Hogg then called on advertisers to boycott Ingram and several companies have cut their ties. Pulling Ooh, I didn't even know about Expedia and (laughs) Wayfair and shit. Nestle. If Nestle leaves you, that's like a huge chunk of everything. So listen, at our latest count, there's been seven advertisers that have pulled out of Laura Ingram's show after one tweet from you. I mean, it seems like you have a lot of power. At yeah, the moment, and I'm just <laughs> it's kind of scary. This. I think it's great that corporate America is standing with me and the rest of my friends because when you come against any one of us, whether it be me or anybody else, you're coming against all of us. And I think it's important that we stand together as both corporate and civic America to take action against these people and show them that they cannot push us around, especially when we're, all we're trying to do here is save lives. And when people try to distract like Laura's trying to do right now from what the real issue here is, which is gun violence in America, it's not only sad, it's just wrong. From a journalistic standpoint, I would say that she needs to be more objective and needs to stand down because I am not the issue here. No, she's the a issue pundit, needs though. To be I mean, gun yeah, she's not really America, a journalist. But what she's trying to do is to distract from that, and I hate it. Well, listen, you know, she, you know she's a talk like, show host. She's, <laughs> she's not objective. I mean, her he doesn't hold shit been back. Too yeah. the objective. She has a particular position, she's a conservative. Um, but listen, after she, after the advertisers started pulling out, she did issue an apology to you. I'll read it. She wasn't really an apology. Any student should be proud of a 4.2 Some sarcastic GPA fucking, David Hogg. sorry you got angry shit. In the spirit of Holy Week, I apologize for any upset like what? or hurt my tweet caused him or any of the brave victims of Parkland. For the record, I believe my show was the first to feature David immediately after that horrific shooting and even noted how poised he was given a tragedy. As always, That's not an apology. Yeah, what, what, what is with the... On this Holy Week. Yeah, what? Spirit of Holy Week. I don't fucking know. Okay, yeah. yeah. 
it would have been cool otherwise, but yeah, you know, the spirit got to we'll, we'll give an apology, which is yeah, not even an apology. It's just a sorry you got angry, which I forgot. And then this is almost like this. a little bit of, like we commented or noted how poised yeah. he was. Like that's that's like Loki an insult right there too. Like basically going at almost I feel like hinting like the crisis act or yeah. thing or like yeah. Because he was like, oh, yeah, yep. so poised and, like, ready to go. Yeah. Like, we noted that. It's a fucking dig at him. The real issues that we have in America. I know she's a talk show host, but as such, she also has a responsibility to show both sides of the story, you know? Roasted! <laughs> wow. <laughs> so he basically just doubled down. <laughs> and then she kept losing fucking advertisers. And eventually... She's, she started, it came out that she's going on a, on a vacation, like, yesterday. Which, if you remember the Bill O'Reilly shit, that means, like, yeah, you're that close to getting fired. Like she, oh, yeah, that's right. Fox yeah. News vacation. Yeah, that's the whole, yeah. So, the, the execs are talking. Yeah, they're deciding what to do with her. She might be fucked, but she might pull a Megyn Kelly and go to MSNBC. <laughs> yeah. So, shit. Just erase the past in one one fell yeah, network switch out. swoop. <laughs> I don't think MSNBC wants another Megyn Kelly, so she might be fucked. Because Megyn Kelly is not really worth it for them. Yeah. The ratings are low as fuck. She keeps pissing people off. And she's just a fake, like... Not liberal. She's fake, uh, moderate conservative. Yeah. And nobody <clears throat> believes that shit. But... Anyway, talking about other shit, we're going to move on to... Shit... Well, Jim Carrey, more Trump. Sh- Everything is kind of connected to Trump. You got to get used to that. But this, this is Jim. Ca- Jim Carrey has been going here. Yeah, his I kind of like the art. Who put up posters of like pictures of it? But Jim Carrey, the painter, has replaced Jim Carrey the actor, and he's building quite a reputation for himself for posting his shit on Twitter. And it's all about Trump. Like we're gonna like this one, which is Trump <laughs> eating ice cream with his titties out, and. <gasps> and with, with with the with the tweet dear Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery then he links them I know it's early but I like to submit this as the official portrait of our 45th president it's called you scream I scream will we ever stop screaming <laughs> <laughs> which is such an appropriate name damn but he's Seriously. good he has a distinct style <laughs> yeah and then the next one is oh it's gory as fuck is Don is Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr. getting Impaled by the elephants that they hunt. So both of them, yeah, you see the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag this team, team elephant. elephant. That, that was it. <laughs> and then the next one is Trump fucking Stormy Daniels. If with some KFC and some K- yeah, she you know the shit Trump's like to eat. With that on a plate, him riding her and his wig right off. <laughs> yeah. We just wanted to showcase this because you wanted to show. A photo of Trump eating ice cream with his titties out. <laughs> That's honestly why. He didn't even know I was adding it. I just wanted to show you guys that shit. We we're going to talk about Virginia, like the tendency for large groups of people to just scream out the N word, which I don't think you knew about this one too. But this week we had the Virginia, the Virginia Tech women's lacrosse team. Like screaming fucking Freaky Friday, which is Lil, what's the Lil fuck, Lil Dicky and Chris Brown's new song. Yeah. Which, like, people called it from the start. Charlemagne and Jesus called it. They said, Jesus, Jesus from Jesus and Barrow said immediately that there's gonna be a video of some white kids singing this shit in a week. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right there. Like, this we're song. gonna, yeah, we're gonna play the video. It's kinda hype, though. The fact that this song is gotten this far in like a week is really hype. Oh, this is a picture. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> 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 you suck, yeah. The rest is irrelevant. But didn't even get the. That it's means the so person. So white girl too. That like means the person was probably sitting there, and then she was like, "Yo, these people are saying nigga like twenty times." <laughs> they took it out for the remaining ten niggas because it was like, like let's let's play let's play the small part in that video where he says nigga like twenty times. 
Chris Brown did all of this. This is Chris Brown's fault. This is Chris Brown's fucking fault. He didn't have to do this. Like, he wrote his part too. He didn't have to say, nigga, like... Yo, he did this. And he made it catchy <laughs> as fuck too. Like, it's the catchiest nigga repeated over and over that. That's all they caught. They didn't. They didn't catch the the first niggas though. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, go I, I didn't say that. It's, uh, it's Chris it's Brown's Chris fault. Brown, yeah. yeah, he made that shit catchy as fuck. Number one, and he, it's a little dicky song. Every white college kid is gonna sing that shit. They're gonna memorize that shit in a week because it's little dicky. Like, I hope I can bet you most adults didn't. Like, did you know who Lil Dicky was before? I, I had heard of him. Yeah, Most some like come across on some like goofy video yeah. on YouTube or something. His, I can't his demographic was, is mostly but... twenty to twenty eight year old people. Yeah, yeah, that's his thing. He has a bunch of shit, which yeah, you hear it at every college party, but it's cool. Like save that money was okay. The video was kind of dope, but yeah. Well, we were talking about the other instances this year that. That a large group of white people have sang nigga a bunch of times. And I, you haven't seen this one yet. This is my favorite one. Because it's kind of hype. <laughs> I love it like, this just got a hype. But it's just, it's just a sea of white people. Which, like, I excuse if you say nigga in context. Because I don't really care. I'm, I'm African, shit. I shouldn't really be able to say it myself. But, <laughs> like, if, if, if you're doing it with no context, it just makes it look that much worse. That much worse. Like yeah, this, yeah, play the play the video. Oh shit, but okay. It's an amazing video. Hey, wow. <laughs> Loki, I would love to be in that crowd. It's kind of, it's kind of hype. <laughs> like in a world where white people can say "nigga," I would be at that party, like bumping, because that shit is hype. You see, everybody fell silent when the song started, and they knew what was happening. Killer Mike fucked up and did an interview with NRA a couple of weeks ago, and the NRA released that shit in the middle of this NRA like frenzy with the Parkland kids, and. Killer Mike was basically just saying some wild shit. Like, you, let's play the video. This is it? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta see this, man. So I have to ask, what are you really marching for? Because this whole I'm shit is corny. Look at this like fucking black dude. The How much did they pay you? you like? the fucking no Uncle Tom ass nigga. Oh, this is the NRA's black yeah. dude? <laughs> it's probably your only black dude. He can tell you firsthand what gun ownership means to this nation's safety and its structure. Like, you believe this shit? Really? These are the people that, that support... I don't get what is going on. I mean, it's Bernie... Is everything that's happened with the park. Killer Mike is oh, like... Was a Bernie bro. Yeah, he was a Bernie bro, and like... He still is a ride or die Bernie bro. But I don't think Bernie is gonna fuck with him anymore. You not woke. <laughs> you not woke. Wakanda, everybody had guns. That, that, was, that was the shit that pissed off Black Twitter. What the, Wakanda is fucking real. And nobody yeah. had guns. You know, you did you see one gun? You can't continue to be the lackey. Like, did you, did you oh, yeah, see a gun? What? Yeah, he hasn't no. fucking watched the movie. Well, you're a lackey of the progressive nah. movement. Basically, I'm going to summarize this shit. He said, the other fucked up thing he said was, I told my kids on the school on the school walkout, I love you, but if you walk out that school, walk out my house. Which, so we're a gun-owning family. We're a family that, that's my, we're a family that my sister farms. We're a family that will hunt and fish. But we're not a family that jumps on every single thing and a lot of, what, of us does because some of the stuff we just don't agree. Which, yeah, but the NRA also twisted, they, like he said a lot of shit, but the NRA twisted his words not by actually manipulating the shit, by just taking segments out of the shit. Yeah. Because he still says some dumb shit, but the interview was about black rights with guns, the black people's Second Amendment rights, which aren't honored 
honestly, even by the NRA. So that was what the conversation came to, and the questions were twist. The questions they asked him and shit. But what he said was what got him into trouble. Like if he had realized it's a fucking trap, yeah, and hadn't said this dumb shit. Well, yeah, no, I mean that's a, he played into the NRA's hands, yeah. like exactly how they wanted. So and they had this video locked and loaded and just released it. It was a black rapper, Bernie Bro, that's that supports us. But he's he yeah, and anyway he he had to go on a. I mean, tour. but uh, honestly, his his views aren't fucked up, I don't yeah. think. I mean, just, yeah, kind of the way he said it. Yeah. And it did sound dumb, yeah, I mean. I, I don't get, I don't get the, the tears of white mothers are like, ratings. He's basically saying that if a white kid dies, it's worth more than if a black kid dies. That's literally it. Which, in the context of why he thought he was But a woman there, from the NRA said that? Yeah, yeah. In the context of why he was there... Which was black people's NRA rights. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, they don't say that. They don't show that anywhere. It's all out of... Like, it's not out of context. He did say the shit. But mm-hmm. they didn't They didn't explain why he was there in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he got in trouble. He had to go on an apology tour. And then he was talking... He, another, another reason why he got people, people pissed off was that... He said his daughter goes to Savannah State University... And there was a shooting on the campus. He talked to his wife and daughter after that. And he said that if she's going to go back to Savannah, she's going to get a gun and train more. So basically, he just told the whole campus that his daughter has a fucking gun on campus. Wow. He was wilding. He really fucking was. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, moving on to another person that was wilding, Roseanne. Oh, yeah. And so Roseanne, who just got her show relaunched again yeah. on netflix i watched both episodes it was cool it was fucking pandery yeah. like it was weird they weren't trying to play too much of the trump shit but they needed enough of it for to, to be cool with trump supporters and they weren't trying to play too much on the liberal shit but they needed yeah. that enough and they had a black kid and a gay kid just uh you know spice yeah. it up well yeah they didn't like tj marries like a black girl or something yeah yeah um so yeah, Roseanne always kind of tried to be the like blue collar, like middle class mm-hmm. kind of show, and so I guess that's probably harder to do in <laughs> twenty eighteen. So well, the middle ch- does that shit. I mean, you, have, you know about the middle? No, it's literally the middle class um, show, and they're not f- straight up liberal or, re- or Republican. You don't even care about that shit. Yeah. That show just works. But Roseanne isn't. Nah. No, it's not nah. happening. Yeah, they even made her delete all her crazy Trump tweets from before. They raised her whole Twitter account. Yeah. Really? But she she is like a wild... Yeah. Because she was the Green Party presidential nominee at one point. But that is when the Green Party, I think, was like... They had to get rid of Roseanne. Like, Jill Stein I, is like kind of out there, but like... On a whole different way. Yeah, from Roseanne, Roseanne is a conspiracy like, theorist. Yeah, exactly. She's part like, of, she was part of the birthday movement. Like, Roseanne is wild. Yeah. Like, and today, she went back to that freshly erased Twitter account to tweet that President Trump has freed so many children held in bondage to pimps all over this world, hundreds each each month. He's broken up the trafficking rings. They should have never given people 280, 280 characters. He has broken up the trafficking rings in high places everywhere. Notice that I disagree on some things, but give him the benefit of the doubt for now. Wait, when was that? That was yesterday. What? Yeah. What the fuck is she talking about? What is she talking about? What is she trying to do? Like, you just, like, starting to come into the spotlight. You just got the show, and you're going to start, like... Sing crazy shit. <laughs> That's not you're going to have to scrub well. this again. Yeah. Well, it's crazy that they already did. Yeah. You know, she's just back at <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just tell her she can't have a Twitter anymore. They should have so. given it to a social media team, but she'll probably say that's infringement of her rights and shit. So, yeah. So, let her tweet whatever crazy shit she wants to tweet. Anyway, that was Roseanne just wilding the fuck out in support of Trump. For, like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, what the fuck? And also, Trump took out the time. Wait, so week. what did she say? Kids, she, he Trump's breaking kids Trump is kids ending, ending kid, like, child... Um, Kidnapping, basically sex rings and shit. It's part Where? of here. He said all over the world. Hundreds each week. Okay, Roseanne. 
<laughs> and shit, we wanted to end on McCabe. You want to go into that? Yeah, it's just just Trump though, just on his own. He's yeah. just cruising around the world, just freeing kids from bondage. So we we haven't heard shit about that. Oh, he just he's that modest, you know yeah. how Trump is. You know, not because the li- the liberal media doesn't want to tell the truth. It doesn't want to shine the light on Trump <laughs> yeah. and show the good things that he's doing, like his tax plan, like taking away health care, like just talking shit to everybody every day. Because now everybody can talk shit to everybody, so that's a good thing. He's turned fucking CNN and TMZ. That's what we're talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Now it's just a. It's, it's TMZ <laughs> for politics and TMZ. Yeah. T- CNN is TMZ for politics and TMZ is CNN. No, wait, what the fuck? I'm trying to say C- CNN is TMZ for politics and TMZ is CNN for celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much yeah. switch roles there. Well, now another, another dumbass fucking like news. People have donated five hundred thousand to um, the GoFundMe charity for ex FBI of official Andrew McCabe. For what? Like I don't know. Well, yeah. So Andrew McCabe in the uh, yeah our last year we were talking about how Rex Tillerson was fired. Well, I think it was like the next day or something after yeah. a shot. Andrew McCabe was then fired, um, and. Again, really weird. Jeff Sessions said it was because of essentially a leak and was something like yeah. poor candor or something like yeah. that. But. And uh, but not really a reason. Um, and then Andrew McCabe denies it. But then is also a GoFundMe page started yeah. that apparently already has half a million dollars in it. And recently, um, Comey contradicted McCabe's account. He said that McCabe is bullshitting. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a headline in there too that said, yeah, that McCabe lied to Comey. Comey has conflicting testimony. Yeah, internal FBI reports show a discrepancy between McCabe and Comey accounts. And so I'm just calling the kind of bullshit on the GoFundMe. I mean, I don't know. He's already rich. They, it, like, he's yeah. legit already a millionaire. It's just like, what is... So, I looked at the thing for that, and it's like, they say it's for uh, a internal investigation and a, like, congressional meetings or testimony. It's like, why, that, why do you need money for that? Like, that's... The FBI is doing an investigation should be like what you don't need personal money to. Yeah. Get, like, well, people just want to throw money at something. Yeah, no, I mean, money I think it's kind of like, yeah, one of those things. I think this has come up before. I mean, like I was kind of saying, I could think of like uh, the Jill Stein recount. And I don't know, just like what anybody sees like a, the tiniest chance of bringing Trump down in a legal way that they can throw money at. Like, yeah. they go all out for it yeah that's what i think is happening here yeah trump trump revitalized the economy of people who are trying to take him down yeah like <laughs> look, look at tv like he revitalized that that shit like usually it's only election season that ratings spike but now it's like year long non-stop yeah. which is gonna fuck with the world when trump leaves because now what the fuck are, like our brains are fucked up now we can only remember things a week at a time and what the fuck are we supposed to fill the news with now because any going back will make it seem like a vacuum. It's like going back to your old computer. You just can't yeah. do it now. <laughs> like, you're fucked. Yeah, we're we fucked. just need the excitement now, so... Ooh, now we have to just start making shit up. Yeah. Shit. If we have a normal president again, it'll just be... Yeah. I, I honestly don't even think we can have a normal president again. Because now... Probably not. Just celebrities they, yeah. from here on out. Either they have to be super good and be doing shit every week, like... Fast forwarding the building back of America, or they have to be really trash. We can't go in between, because Obama now seems c- too calm. Like, a, like we didn't hear news about him for months on end. Like, shit, we're fucked. <laughs> and when he dies, people protest his fucking death. <laughs> probably. Yeah, they probably have to put guards at his grave, grave, because people would be pissing on him and shitting on him and shit. And again, he might just be our president slash Life. king yeah. dictator. I mean, the way things are going, yeah. nothing can nothing can bring him down. Literally, nothing. 
Yeah, it's going to be like the end of his four years. He'll like lose, and then he'll just be like, "No, nope, I'm not leaving." I, I wouldn't be surprised if and Trump people would be like, "Wait, him. what?" And then no one will. It, it'll just continue yeah. going on, <laughs> and we'll we'll be here doing the same thing yeah. twelve years from now. So. Well, then that creates a bubble because you can't keep doing the same shit. Like especially with TV, it's going to create a ratings bubble. Because if if the bubble burst, like he dies, and the month after nothing happens, like the TV economy is just gonna crash yeah. down. Everyone's gonna start picking up books and start reading literature again. Yeah. <laughs> well, YouTubers might finally take over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, shit. Be about due time for that. <laughs> well, we'll probably throw in some dumbass shit in the end, like a video or some shit. We might as well just throw in the the. Good Kid Mad City video for the entirety. Oh, Let's yeah. Just send this out. <laughs> Enjoy that video. It's going to definitely be fun. That shit makes me hype. But, yeah, this is the end. All right. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>